30% of people in this world are not going to like you no matter what you do. We all try to chase those 30% of people to get them to like us. I get you, I was you for many, many years. So this video is all about how to stop being a people pleaser. Jody Bentley here, actor, producer, and career coach. And today I'm talking directly to my people pleasers. So people pleasers, raise your hand, please. Raise your hand so I can see you. I see you. I get you. I was you for many, many years. So this video is all about how to stop being a people pleaser. And this came up for one of my clients, and this was really for her, came up in regards to social media. So she had been having a ton of successes, and she'd been afraid to share it on social media because she was afraid to be perceived in a certain way because she wanted to be liked, and she didn't want to deal with any negativity or backlash right? And that, my friends, is the people pleaser mentality, right? So she was afraid to put things out there. So she didn't. And she had so many gifts to share and so many projects to share. And she just stopped herself because she was afraid. She didn't want to rock the boat, right? She didn't want to come off as narcissistic or, oh, look at me or get any criticism on her talent or anything like that. So she played it safe and historically had done nothing. So if this sounds familiar to you, then I'm glad that you're watching this video because here's the thing. 30% of people in this world are not going to like you no matter what you do. That is mathematically and statistically a fact. 30% of people are just not gonna like you in spite of everything, no matter what, no matter what you say or what you do. The problem comes with the people pleasers is we all try to chase those 30% of people to get them to like us. When our focus gets to be shifted to those 70% of people who actually are your people. So that people pleaser thing is really about wanting to be liked by everyone, which if we look at it is really through the guise of the ego. So then we vanilla ourselves down, play it safe and be known as nice. So that way we never rock the boat. So that is no way to let your energy, personality, authentic self shine. And that is no way to build a career and share your talent with the world. So I, you know, and that, that was me in my twenties. I was a people pleaser. Everyone would be like, oh, Jody's so nice. She's so nice. She's so nice. And then there was a point where I was like, I don't want to be nice. I want to be known for who I am. But I had been afraid to share my point of view and be who I naturally was. And then there was a breaking point where that all shifted and realized I get to find my people. So I invite you to find your people, to share who you are in the world and know that not everyone is going to like it and that's okay. It's just math, right? I'd rather people love me or hate me than be, um, think, be mediocre feeling on me or be have a, just a warm feeling. I'd rather you, 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 you love me or hate me, right? I'd rather shake things up and rock the boat um, than just be nice. So really think about how do you want to show up in this world? Do you want to just play it safe and be nice? Or do you want people to know who you are and what you stand for? So here's how to work through those feelings when you do um, put something out in the world, right? That you, you say, I'm going to own it. I'm going to shine. I'm going to put my POV out there and I'm just going to be me. And then we do get the backlash. It's going to happen. I've had haters, you guys. I could share some crazy emails I've gotten <laughs> along the way in my journey. It's um, a little uh, intense. Um, and again, I'd rather you love me or hate me than be safe and walk that middle ground and never share who I am. So when you do, or if you do, let me say that. But let's just say when, let's just expect it. Let's expect some backlash, right? Why not? Why not? They always say, you know, you made it when you get haters. Do you know what I mean? So when you do get that backlash, let's just own it. Here's what I invite you to do. Cause it's going to sting and it's going to hurt. I'm not going to lie. I still get a little sting and a little hurt when things come through. But then what I do is I remember my value. 
I remember my zone of genius. I remember my talent. I remember all the people who do um, acknowledge me, who um, follow me, who support me, right? I remember all of that. And again, I remember my deep value of who I am and who I want to be with the world. And I make that bigger than anything else. And the other thing, when that, that backlash occurs and those negative feelings come up and you might start to spiral down, I just invite you to journal on it, meditate on it, whatever it is, get those negative feelings out of your head and put them on paper or out in the world somehow to release them because they're, it's not you. Their words, you don't have to take on their words. Those are their words. That has nothing to do with you. Remember, everybody sees the world through their own filter and something about you triggered something in them that probably has nothing to do with you anyway. So why take that on as something that you have to carry? So release it, have a dance party, call someone up, vent it out, whatever it is that you have to do, but release that any of that negativity because it's not yours. That's not a story that you have to carry. The story you get to carry is one of your point of view and your authentic voice and your gifts and your zone of genius that you get to share with the world. That's the only thing that you can control. And find your people. Don't give any power to the 30% who aren't your people because nothing you say or do will convince them to like you anyway. All right, my people pleasers, follow these tips. I trust that they will support you on your journey. Comment below and let me know how you feel about this because I know the people pleasing thing is a big one, um, especially for women in our industry. All right, I will talk with you soon and see you later. Okay, bye.